Hi there. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to use Goal Seek in Excel 2007. It's pretty much the same if you're using Excel 2003, so definitely feel like you can follow along um, regardless of what version you have. If you do want to download this file, you can do that by going to my website, uh, cpaselfstudy.com. Oh, this is pretty simple, and you could probably recreate it quickly. Um, so, what is Goal Seek? Well, Goal Seek is what Excel calls a what if analysis tool. And what if is actually a pretty good name for it. What Goal Seek allows you to do is change the value in a cell in order to get the answer that you want. So, what's that really mean? In this case, I want to determine what my break even is. So, I could say, what if my profit is zero? What would my units be? What if my profit is zero? what would my price per unit be? So that's kind of what they're talking about when um, they refer to it as what if analysis. It really is pretty cool. There's two, um, actually there's four what if analysis tools. Goal Seek is definitely the uh, simplest and probably a good one to start with. In the example I have here, we have a short margin analysis on calculators. If you look at column B and C, you'll see that I've got total revenue, which is comprised of a price per unit, unit sold, average discount, and then I've got total costs, which is comprised of cost per unit and fixed costs. Okay. Now here's my profit, and this is actually the number we want to change. One of the things that you need to be cognizant of when you're using Goal Seek is you need to understand where the numbers are from. So if I look at my profit, I can see that it's pulling from the revenue and from the total cost numbers. So in other words, if I change any of my revenue numbers or my cost numbers, it is going to impact profit. So what I want to do is figure out how many units I need to sell to break even. You know, right now my profit's 864,000, but I want to see how many units I would actually need to sell just to break even with a profit of zero. So what I'm going to do is use Goal Seek and tell Excel to change cell C14 to zero by changing another cell. And we said we were going to pick units sold, which right now is at 100,000. So it's pretty easy to do. In Excel 2007, we would go up, go to the Data tab, go over to Data Tools, and click on the drop-down arrow beside What If Analysis. And you can see that two of the other What If Analysis tools are here, Scenario Manager and Data Table. Okay. And, you know, I mentioned before that there was actually another What If Analysis, and that is Solver, which is usually an add-in program, which is um, pretty complex. So as I said, we're just going to start with Goal Seek. So I'm going to click on Goal Seek, and what happens is the dialog box comes in. So what cell do I want to set? Well, I said I want to set C14 to a value of 0. By changing what cell? C6. Okay. Now, as you can see, Goal Seek is immediately limited. You can only change one cell. If you want to change more, you probably want to look at Scenario Manager or one of the other What If Analysis tools. But for our purposes here, this is fine. So I click on OK, and what it does is it shows me the status. It tells me the target was zero and the current value is zero. Sometimes you know, it may be off by a decimal point, which is why it shows you both the target and the current. If what you're asking it is impossible, it will tell you that it's not feasible. Now if I like this, I could click OK, and it would, Excel would replace the values um, with the ones that you currently see on the screen. So the original ones would be gone. So I would need to sell 46,468 units to break even. But suppose I want to see, well, I want to keep my units the same, but maybe I'm going to take down my price. So I can click on Cancel. It returns the original values. Now I can go back up to Data, go back over to What If Analysis, and select Goal Seek again. Keeping the same set cell to zero, but this time maybe I want to see the impact if I change my price per unit. 
Okay, I could do fixed costs, you know, anything that I wanted to, as long as that cell impacts the profit number. Okay, by the way, if you're using Excel 2003, instead of going up to data and then over to what if, you would go to the tools menu and select goal seek right from there. Everything else is the same. So I'm going to click OK. Right now my price per unit is $47.95. So if I want to attain a break even, I could actually take my price down to $33.55. So that's a nice little bit of play that I've got you know, between $33.55 and $47.95. So if I like that, I could keep it, I could click OK. And again, the numbers, the original numbers are replaced. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy, so give it a try and see how it works for you. Thanks.